Hello, this is Tim Campso with TVC Action Coach of Indiana with our Business Spotlight series. The purpose is to interview local business owners and promote them through our social channels and email database, as well as provide them coaching. This is a free service we're providing because if every small business is strong, then the economy is strong. Today, I have the pleasure of talking with Mike. Hey, Mike, welcome to the program. It's great to have you on today. Thanks, Tim. Good to be here. Well, let's start out with, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and your background. Okay. Um, well, I, uh, my, my background is uh, media. I've been in media for my whole uh, career. I started out in TV, uh, worked in TV as a, uh, uh, a news anchor and producer for about 10 years. Uh, and then uh, when I started having a family, I switched over to newspapers and uh, worked in newspapers for about 20 years or so. And for the past 12 years, I've owned my own business, uh, uh, the Hamilton County Business Magazine. Fantastic. Well, tell us a little bit more about that. If we were to give you a 60 second commercial, what would your your commercial be? Well, the OK, my 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 commercial is um, the Hamilton County Business Magazine is the is, is the business to business publication for Hamilton County, Indiana. We circulate to, we, we're, we, we partner with the chambers of commerce in the county. There are four of them. Uh, and I give them each a page in the magazine in exchange, they give me their mailing list. And so I mail this magazine to all the members of the four Hamilton County chambers. Uh, uh, that's about 2,500 businesses and so that is my circulation base. Uh, I then uh, make money with the magazine through advertising. Uh, uh, many advertisers like to reach the business community. It's a thriving business community, mm -hmm. fastest growing county in the state. And uh, so it's a good audience and people like to reach that audience. So um, I'm fortunate and have been fortunate over the years to have good advertisers. So that's my 60 second commercial. Fantastic, Mike. So tell us, um, who do you serve? Who's your best customer? We call that our target audience. Um, my best customer, you mean like from an advertising perspective yeah. or from an advertising perspective, my best customer are well-established businesses who understand the value of print marketing, uh, who have uh, uh, budgets for branding and who like to use uh, print advertising for branding. Uh, I'm not really a direct response type medium. Uh, you know, a lot of people, especially for consumer advertising, uh, they want to put an ad in and, and have the phone start ringing immediately. Uh, you know, my, uh, my magazine is a little more targeted than that. It's targeted to business people. Uh, and so I always have seen my, my best customer as being, uh, you know, established businesses that understand the value of branding and who like to use print for branding. Fantastic. So, Mike, what's been the greatest impact that COVID has had on your business? Well, COVID has been um, uh, very impactful on our business. Uh, actually, when it first started, you know, back, which has been almost a year ago now, um, we didn't see that much, uh, we didn't see that much impact and it was pretty much business as usual for us. Uh, however, as the uh, year progressed and once we got to the end of the year, uh, you know, COVID just made a lot of people just stop and sit back and think about what they're doing. Uh, and a lot of our advertisers kind of saw, they were, they were afraid at the end of last year and they weren't quite sure what the future was going to hold. And when people don't know what the future is going to hold, they get, they get nervous and they stop spending. <laughs> and uh, so quite a number of advertisers did stop spending uh, and did not renew their contracts with us. We have about half a dozen advertisers that have stuck with us and God bless them. They've been, they've been steadfast with us and we really appreciate that. But um, essentially what ended up happening was we were, I mean, it, it, our advertising dwindled to the point of where if we published a magazine, if we actually printed a magazine and mailed it, we would have lost money. Mm. So instead of doing that, we decided to shift gears and and print or not print, but uh, publish a, uh, a digital only magazine. Uh, and we started that with our December, January edition. And that's what we do six editions a year. 
so each edition is good for two months. And uh, as I was looking at the you know uh, potential advertising for December January, it just it, it didn't make sense to print. You know, print is expensive. Uh, it's very um, it's very effective, but it's expensive. And that's what's one advantage of digital uh, marketing is that you know digital doesn't cost a whole lot of money in comparison to print and ma uh, mailing and mailing a print product. So that's what we did, and we cut our advertising rates in half. Uh, being so that we could pass some of those savings that we were seeing in the uh, on the print side, uh, pass them on to our advertisers. And frankly, that was a, a little bit unproven. And that uh, one thing that I needed was a way to distribute it. You know, I mean, the mail is one thing, but when we, we weren't going to pay for the mail. Um, I went to my partners at uh, the chambers and said, "Well." You know, we're not going to print an edition, but would you help us distribute by emailing it to your membership? And they all agreed and said yes. And so they are all emailing it. So what we're doing now is we're, we're publishing this magazine. Uh, and, you know, I mean, you, you get certain advantages when you don't print. I mean, printing and mailing takes two weeks. So as a result, our deadline is like a month out because mm -hmm. it takes a couple of weeks to get all the stories together, do the editing uh, and, and all that, and then two more weeks to print it and, and mail it. Well, because uh, we're not printing and mailing, uh, when we put the magazine together, we can literally send it out that evening when we're done with it. So it only takes us a couple of weeks to put it together. So our deadlines have been, uh, been able to be stretched out for a couple of weeks. So now the deadline, which normally was for the April, uh, May edition, normally would have been last Friday, is now in two weeks. Uh, and we will then spend a couple of weeks putting that magazine together. Uh, it looks just like a regular magazine. It's just that it's not printed, it's just digital. And uh, then at the end of those two weeks, which is pretty much the end of uh, March, we will mail out, email out our April, May edition. Uh, we don't want this to be a permanent thing. We'd like to get back to print. I think print has something to uh, something to it that that digital doesn't. Uh, and I think people appreciate having a print product. I certainly enjoy. That's that's what I've been doing for my entire career is working in print. Sure. Um, and I'd like to get back to that. But I also don't want to lose money uh, mm -hmm. on the magazine. So um, that's that that's sort of our strategy. This way, we're not making a whole lot of money, but at least we're not losing money, uh, and we're being able to pass some of those savings onto our advertisers. So that's a good thing as well. And they're still getting some, you know, the, our advertisers are still getting good circulation. I mean, our, our, our chamber partners, you know, their mailing list is uh, just as robust electronically as it is, uh, you know, uh, on, on the, with a print product by the post office. Uh, it's just that you don't have that tangible magazine to hold. Sure. And, uh, and so that's where we are. Uh, we'll see, hopefully later this year, I have had some, um, some advertisers have been uh, inquiring as to, you know, what our schedule is looking like now. And um, so some are talking about coming on, coming back. And so I think that might start happening later this year. I think people are starting to feel a whole lot more comfortable about the future now. Right. Yeah. And uh, I think as they do that, uh, advertising will come back. And I expect within a couple of more editions, we'll be printing again. And that'll be a good time. That'll be a great time for us. Well, congratulations on, on such a significant pivot in such a short period of time. And that, uh, that's exactly what's been needed, right? During all this craziness is, is people doing things like you did to, just to we all survive. have to adjust. Yeah, we got to adjust and, and uh, do what we can to keep the, keep the lights on while, uh, while we all get through this very tough time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate uh, you being able to be in there for, for businesses to still be able to, to advertise and you know, that you found a way to, to enable them to, to continue to, to get exposure. So, hey, Mike, here's an interesting question. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what mistakes have you made along the way that you'd be willing to share that can help other entrepreneurs learn from your experience? Oh man, um, gosh. Uh, well, it, let's see. I, you know, initially, I wanted to grow this magazine's circulation organically. Uh, you know, I mean, we had that circulation base, and so I was um, 
sending out samples to uh, a, a lot of people from a, a bottom mailing list of businesses that didn't belong to the chamber was sending out, uh, this was early on, this, was, uh, this magazine's been going for 12 years. So this was like the first couple of years. I thought, well, you know, as long as we're doing really well with, uh, uh, you know, the chamber members, maybe we can uh, increase our circulation by uh, hitting non-chamber members and try and grow it that way. Uh, I found out that there, I don't know, for whatever reason, non-chamber members really did not want to receive the magazine because <laughs> when I tried to grow it organically like that, it uh, it didn't work. I was not getting a lot of response. So that's that's one lesson I've learned is that it uh, it, it pays to uh, uh, be able to partner with somebody who can provide you with a mailing list. Uh, and frankly, that was one of our um, strategies early on. That's one thing. That's the reason we partnered with the chambers was we knew we needed some kind of a, uh, uh, an established audience uh, right at the beginning. Uh, if I had to grow it from scratch, we probably would not have been able to do it fast enough to be able to, uh, uh, you know, charge a reasonable rate for an ad. So um, that's one thing uh, that I learned. Um, what else have I learned along the way? Uh, gosh, uh, I've learned that um, if you ask people what they want, they don't always know what they want. Uh, so you, you know, it, trying to program a or, or yeah, program a magazine and come up with editorial content based on what you think, based on what people say they want, doesn't work. You've got to have a certain um, uh, sense of what's going on in the community and what kind of stories will generate interest in order to uh, be a good editor. Uh, because initially, you know, everybody says, well, I'm, I'm, you know, this is going to, this is going to be a new product and I'm going to give the reader what he wants. Well, they don't know what they want. They know they want something good. They know they want interesting, but basically what they're saying is show me what you got and I'll tell you if I find it interesting or not, but don't ask me what I want. Cause <laughs> I'm, that's your job. You figure out what you're going to put on them. So yeah. that was another lesson I kind of learned. Um, I don't know. I can't think of other ones right off the bat, but no, that's uh, there's great, a I appreciate you sharing. Sure. So, second last question here. Um, I'm going to get your contact information so that we can include that in the post and, and give people a way to, to learn more about you. But is there anything else that we should include or, or talk about today? Do you, do you have any types of offers that you're, that you're running right now that uh, folks could take advantage of? Well, all advertising is half price right now because we're not Fantastic. actually printing a magazine. So there you go. There, there's a, there's a great deal. Um, you know, we give people discounts based on commitments. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned early on that, that we're a good branding medium. That's kind of what we're about. Uh, and in order for branding to work, you have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we give people an incentive to be consistent. You know, if you, if you advertise multiple times within a year, you get a better rate on all of your ads. Uh, so uh, there's that deal always, but now is actually, if we're going to be, and we are going to be um, publishing digitally for the, um, for the April, May edition, um, if the people are interested in reaching that audience, and it's, uh, you know, once, I, once again, it's a, it's a lucrative audience. These are business people in Hamilton County that are looking for ways to run their businesses more efficiently. Um, now is a good time to get in because the prices are prices are very reasonable right now. Uh, we do also have uh, I have a second publication, uh, and you know the, this these this magazine are, we've always considered the Hamilton County Business Magazine to be sort of our flagship product, but we do a an annual publication called Welcome to Hamilton County, which is a visitors guide that we distribute to hotels. Uh, and that actually, despite the pandemic last year, was surprisingly strong because, you know, restaurants last year at this time, and actually more like in May and April, uh, or March and April, uh, which is kind of when we generally sell that magazine, uh, were really, you know, taking it on the chin. That was when all of the first, the very first orders were coming down that they had to, uh, you know, restrict their hours and had to restrict the number of people they could have in their establishments. But they recognized that that you know if they were going to make it, they were still going to have to uh, market. And so, the community guide uh, has been surprisingly strong. It was surprisingly strong last year, uh, and I suspect that this year. And we haven't quite started selling it yet. We thought we'd wait till the 
uh, sort of the, the fog cleared just a little bit because it's a, uh, you know, people have, people are optimistic right now, but there's still not a real clear path as to exactly what things are going to be like in another right. month or two. Yeah. Uh, so we thought we'd delay just a little bit uh, approaching. I can appreciate how tough it's been. And I mentioned this because restaurants are a large part of that, that mm. magazine for obvious reasons. People who are visiting the area are frequently looking for places to eat. Uh, and so that's a large part of our advertising base there. Uh, so we thought we'd wait a, uh, another month or so to just to give people uh, a better idea uh, so that they feel confident that, that this is going to be a good year. Because I suspect that once we reach herd immunity, and I think, you know, the herd is starting to feel pretty good. I know <laughs> I'm getting my shot here in a couple of weeks, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a really good year toward the end of this year, because there's a lot of pent up demand. People are really tired yes. of being alone <laughs> in their houses. They yeah. really want to be out and be social. Hamilton County is a very social place anyway. And uh, I have a feeling that uh, the restaurants are really going to do well. And so we really, we want to be there for them for that. Uh, I'm, I think the community guide is going to, again, do very well this year. Uh, and so I, I thought I would just mention that as well. If we have people that are interested in reaching the visiting audience, the circulation base for that, by the way, is we take it to all the hotels. Uh, there are upwards of 40, possibly more than 40 hotels in Hamilton County now. Uh, and so they each get a box. We tell them there's 15,000 copies are gonna be distributed over the course of an entire year. It's all about Hamilton County. It's one, it's a, it's the kind of magazine that you see on when you go to a hotel and, and uh, there's a magazine sitting on the coffee table. Yeah. That's the kind of magazine it is. It's a welcome to Hamilton County and here's things to do and places to see uh, in, our, in our wonderful county. So that we, we do also publish that. Okay, fantastic. Well, hey, Mike, last question here. Tell me yep. what's been most inspiring to you during all of the craziness of the past year. Um, you know, my kids are inspiring to me. And, and, and I, you know, that, that might be a kind of a, it's, it's not a business oriented thing, but they do inspire me all the time. My wife and I are empty nesters now, but I got five kids. And, you know, they've all been very concerned. I'm, uh, you know, I'm high risk because of my age. I'm, I'm in my mid sixties uh, and they've all been very concerned uh, about us. But what's inspiring about my kids is they, you know, they're in their twenties, uh, our daughters in their thirties, but uh, the, our sons are all in their twenties and they have it much more together than I did when I was in my twenties. <laughs> and I find that very inspiring and frankly, somewhat surprising because I don't really know what I did to deserve that. Um, they're, they're all happy and well-adjusted. Uh, they, they're, they're, you know, they show a lot of concern for their parents and uh, they inspire me every day. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing um, all of your insights today, Mike. I uh, appreciate that. It, it, this does conclude our interview. For those listening, if uh, you're interested in advertising your company and want to take advantage of this digital offer, make sure to reach out to Mike and, and get in on that before they go back to the printed version so you get that 50% off. Um, also, right. you know, reach out to Mike to get in the, the, that annual magazine of Welcome to Hamilton County. Make sure that people know about uh, your company and the, the things that you offer. If you've heard anything during this uh, interview that maybe you're struggling with as a business owner, be happy to jump on a call with you and, and talk through that. Mike, it's been a pleasure learning about you and your company, and I wish you tremendous success. Thank you, Tim. Same to you. All right. Have a fantastic day. Thanks.